Hey everybody, so today in the shop we're going to show you how to make a fruit salad the hard way. Just have to let you know, the GoPro has been kind of intermittent with the audio, so I didn't actually get any audio recorded out there earlier, unfortunately. So, with that, I give you this. Alright, so you guys saw how that went, and I mean, just look at these things, the, the carnage they left. As you can see, I actually ended up ditching the original stripe that came with the oranges. It is the most difficult thing on the planet to try and get any kind of sticker or glue to stick to an orange. I went, I tried stapling it, I stitched it on, that rips out. I tried washing the whole orange off with lacquer thinner, and that works if you do it within the next two hours, but if you leave it overnight, that orange oil is going to soak up through there and totally get rid of anything. But I found a solution. We got the Kentucky Chrome on here. Uh, you get the silver spray paint and tape it off and spray some on there, and if you get a good enough coat, it works. So let me bring you over here and show you something. Now to answer the grand question of how many G's can an orange take before it explodes. So after the fact I've gone and measured the diameter of all of these oranges and within an eighth of an inch they all came out to three inches. Uh, it's pretty close for what we're doing here so I'm going to work with that. When I convert that over to metric we went to 3.81 centimeter radius which was 762 diameter. So test number one I used orange number three and that one unfortunately I had some issues with the laser tachometer so I didn't get a reading on that one. So unfortunately this tack error means I didn't get a trial of three. So test number two we came out with an RPM of 2375 before failure. Not the highest number I've managed to find out there even in my tests beforehand 
but it's it's up there and it's, it seems to be a believable number to me so took that and did a little bit of math online I actually found a calculator and took this 3.81 and 2.375 and punched it in and that gave us an RCF of 240 G so RCF stands for relative centrifugal force so what we're calculating here is centrifugal force which is the same force pointing the way that this radius symbol does and it's actually an imaginary force uh, because there is no outside force pulling outward on it it's almost as if we reversed gravity but we're doing so by rotating it as fast as we are and in our third test we got a grand score of 3847 rpm that is the fastest I have found any of the oranges that I've worked with so far uh, I've gone through like five of them trying to figure out how to even get things to stick and when we type that in to the same calculator we come up with 630 G's so far the max G rating recorded on an orange that I know of is 630 G so between test number one not quite coming through probably because of this paint here and the fact that I couldn't get any audio this time I'm gonna have to try and redo this at least one more time but that is for a future episode well thanks everybody for watching it's been a pleasure please consider subscribing because next time we're gonna spin tomatoes <laughs>